Perhaps the greatest challenge to Reisner's archaeological expertise comes here in the Valley Temple of King Menkaure. This is from the smallest pyramid complex at Giza, but in many ways the most elaborate. And Menkaure's Valley Temple posed particular challenges because it was not only a mortuary temple complex, but later a settlement area. The courtyard that you see was later inhabited with priests' houses and magazines and ovens and storage silos. Thus, it was a very complex stratigraphic challenge and one of the earliest examples of stratigraphic excavation in archaeology anywhere. The Valley Temple was excavated by the Harvard University Boston Museum of Fine Arts Expedition in 1908 and 1910. It was never completed by Menkaure himself, but finished in mud brick by his son and successor Shepsiskov towards the end of Dynasty IV. Here we stand in the courtyard surrounded by pillars and niches. How many statues were located in this courtyard? Reisner found numerous examples of royal sculpture of Menkaure, many of them among the greatest masterpieces of Egyptian art anywhere. The famous dyad or pear statue showing Menkaure and most likely his queen was found here, along with four perfectly preserved triads showing the king in the company of the goddess Hathor and a minor regional deity. We can reconstruct the temple with its courtyard, its later settlements, and then the interior chambers leading westwards and eventually connecting to the causeway moving up towards the pyramid itself. The roofs have been reconstructed with wooden beams. We have granite and even painted false granite walls and a series of labyrinthine-like chambers leading eventually to the sanctuary or Holy of Holies. The debate continues on how these were decorated, how much relief sculpture might have once been present, how much paint and color, and where all of the statuary was allocated. 